Hi everybody, today you find me on what I have been promised is going to be the hottest day of the year so far at Hewenden Manor, near High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire. Most famous for being the home of the former Prime Minister, Benjamin Disraeli, who is buried in the graveyard just down the hill at the local parish church at Michael's and All Saints. So I'll be going to have a look at that later too. So anyway, let me give you a brief history of the house and a potted story of Benjamin D Disraeli as we go around. Now, once again, I've brought Lynn with me to see if she feels anything spooky going on. So let's crack on. Up until 1738, this house was just the farmhouse up on the hill. Until it was bought to become a gentleman's residence, it was remodeled for Disraeli in 1862 by Edward Buckton Lamb, who controversially gothanized it, adding battlements, etc., and making it more castle looking. Benjamin Disraeli was born in 1804 and died in 1881. He was Conservative Prime Minister twice, 1868 to 1868 and 1874 to 1880, and was very close to Queen Victoria. He lived here at Hewenden from 1848 and still alternated between here and London before his death in 1881. His wife Mary Ann died in 1872. He was, and still is, the only Jewish Prime Minister of Britain. At the time, being Jewish would have stopped him being Prime Minister, but Disraeli had been brought up as an Anglican since the age of 12. Another one of those amazing yeah. ceilings. And that's Mary herself over there then. Yeah. No, that's Mary Ann over there. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. oh sorry. What an amazing room. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Do you know I think it's I think what I like about this house is the lower ceilings.
yet. So here we are down at the churchyard uh, of Hewenden Manor, the bottom of the road, and this is the Disraeli burial vault we're coming up to here outside the church in memory of Mary Ann Disraeli, Balcantess Beaconsfield, and also the Right Honourable Benjamin Disraeli, and at the right there, Disraeli son. Coningsby, Ralph Disraeli, sorry. On the right here is Disraeli's nephew, Coningsby. And Ralph Disraeli, who must have been the brother of Benjamin, because he's the son of his father, Isaac Disraeli. Beautiful, beautiful thing, look. And there it is, the Israeli family vault. placed by Queen Victoria to her friend Benjamin Disraeli. So, Lynn and I have finished our tour of Hewenden Manor and it was pretty amazing. Um, what is our reaction to the place? Well, I'll just bring Lynn in. Now, Lynn, first of all, what everybody wants to know is did you pick up on anything spooky? No, I didn't pick up on anything spooky at all. No. I would say yeah. that's one of the most warmest places I've ever visited as a stately home. Yeah. I thought it was just like walking into somebody's very nice, cosy house. It was very homely, really lovely. I think the fact that the ceilings were low there, it was beautifully furnished. Totally agree. Made it very homely and very welcoming. Yeah. yeah. So we're now sitting outside the church of uh, St. Michael's and All Saints. Yeah. Uh, where we've just done a quick look at um, Benjamin Disraeli's family vault outside yeah. 
and we've come inside and looked at the lovely monument from Queen Victoria yeah. to him. Uh, yeah. Which is, I'm going to say, this church isn't owned by the National Trust like Huendon Manor is, no. and it is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It's church. absolutely beautiful. It's got to be one of the best churches I've ever been inside. Yeah. It really is nice. Yeah. Um, now, anyway, back to Huendon Manor. What would you say the pros of Huendon Manor? Visiting Huendon Manor is. The pros is I think it was set in beautiful ground. It was a lovely building. The um, guides were really friendly, very helpful and very knowledgeable. Lots of information dotted around. Um, I say it in a very homely place. You felt really at home there. It wasn't um, too spacious with the very high ceilings like some of the stately homes are. It was, it, as you said, it's more like going into somebody's home. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you can speak highly enough about the guides at these National no. Trust places. Very they good. do it for nothing. Yes. No, but, but these people, they're amazing. And not only are they doing giving up their time, they are so knowledgeable yes. and friendly. Yes. They are amazing. The staff of National Trust has got to be the big pro yes, yeah, in, their, in their case. Yeah. Now, on this particular place here today, the cons mm. are the road... The, the driveway oh. up to this place is disgraceful. If all the way up to the th the actual potter, it's disgraceful. But all in all, the place is amazing. The staff are amazing. Yeah. And you know you can't fault it. Yeah. But anyway, a fantastic. Um, a great morning. You know another another fantastic use of our national trust cards. Yeah. Which is brilliant and a fantastic morning. Beautiful morning. It's gorgeous here. Um, I would say visit this place. As for the people at Huendon Manor, amazing. I don't think, I wouldn't like to say I've never met friendlier because last week at Clayton, the people there were amazing as well. And the people really do make it. It's uh, in it, it's it, amazing. Yeah, it is. I just said in it. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> you know, honestly, I didn't mean to. I'm really not that person in it. But anyway, anyway, getting back to this, yeah. an absolutely fantastic time. I'd like to just say that the scenery around here is phenomenal. Oh, it's amazing. But anyway, if you liked this, the usual thing, isn't it, Lynn? You know, Absolutely. please give it a thumbs up. There's before. Yeah. Um, please, please subscribe to the channel. That's always a big help to the channel. It means that I can bring some more. Um, and, um, well, basically, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, sounds good. So goodbye, Nelly. Bye. See you later. Ta-da.